In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Stinger transitions in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up PowerPoint on your computer and then just create a blank presentation. And all you have to do is just you have to delete this and click to add title. You have to delete both of them and, and then delete the subtitle as well. Right after that, just click on the insert tab right here, click on shapes, and then click on select this rectangle right here, and just draw a rectangle so that I make sure it covers the whole canvas. And then just click on the format tab and change the color so that it's a green color. We're going to more fill colors and setting it to a light green because this is going to be our base green screen. I click on OK, and now as you can see, it's right now fully green. Make sure it's covering the whole canvas. Right after that, you will make sure you've also removed the outline by clicking on Format and open up the Shape Outline tab and then just click on No Outline. Right after that, just click on the Insert tab once again and then just click on Shapes and then select any shape you want. I'm going to start off with a circle and just zoom out of your canvas and then just draw a huge circle. Right after that, just place this in the corner right here. And then just click on the animation tab, then click on the drop down menu, and then select lines. And then as soon as this shows up right here, this red color circle right here, just drag it all the way to the top left corner. Right after that, you can just click on the preview button. And this is how our our basic thing of transition we just made looks like. Let me just preview it once again. And as you can see, we just made a basic string of transition. I'm going to change the color and then I'm going to add a shadow effect by going to shape effects and then just click on the drops and then just click on the shadow options and then select any kind of shadow you want. You can even go to you can even select shadows and you can even select more shadow options to get an access to a bunch of different sliders which you can adjust. I'm going to increase the blur and then I'm going to play it once again by clicking on animations and then preview. And now as you can see, that's how our Stinger transition looks like. As soon as you've made a Stinger transition, you just click on the file menu right here. And then just click on save as, click on browse, and set the location to where you want to save it. And then rename it to anything you want. Click on the drop down menu where it says save as type. And then select it to mpeg-4 video, just select that, and just click on save. Right after that, you will find this progress bar right here. Just have to wait for it to completely export the footage. And then as soon as it's done exporting, just click on the minimize tab. And just hunt for the location where you saved the Stinger transition. I saved it on my desktop. And as you can see, this is our Stinger transition. I'm going to open it up. And this is how our Stinger transition looks like. Now, as soon as you're done making it, you can just load it onto any kind of video editing software you use. And you can just remove the green color using Chroma Key. You have to remove the Chroma Key using the tool that is on your built-in video editor. For now, I'm going to show an example by opening up Camtasia. Click on Import Media. And then just open up the desktop. And then I'm going to scroll down and then select the Stinger right here. Click on Open. And then I'm just going to drag it onto my timeline. And then open up a few footages I've got on my computer. So I've got a footage right here, I'm just going to load it up onto my timeline as well. And then all you got to do is zoom into your timeline and set the location where you want the Stinger transition to appear. And then the methods to use the Chroma Key feature on your video editing software might be different. Make sure you know how to use it on your editing software. I'm using Camtasia now. So the method for Camtasia is by going to visual effects and scrolling down and then you'll find this remark, remove a color right here. Just drag it onto my Stinger transition. And then I'm going to go here, click on this color option, and then click on the eye, and then just click on the color picker option, and then select this color right here. And if I play it from the beginning, as you can see, this is how our Stinger transition looks like. As you can see, it's going from this, from this scene to this scene. Now because it's just I just put a Stinger transition on top of a random footage, so that's why it looks like this. But as you can see, you get the idea on how to use a Stinger transition by removing the green color. And yeah guys, that's it on this video. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.